Hi everyone, it's Paola from Avela Spinoza's Art Studio and today we're going to be doing a quick drawing lesson on how to draw this dog right over here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to essentially show you the steps and explain as I go and then you can follow along at home. So we're going to start with a colored marker just so that you guys can see the basic shapes and then we go over it with a pencil at the very end. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with our construction shapes. So we're going to start with our basic shapes such as a circle for where his head is. We want to go over these ones several times just so we get the general shape in the right place. And then we can draw things such as a giant triangle for the body placement. And then we can draw a line to indicate the cut. So what we're getting here is we're basically getting just the basic area filling to just to get the general blocking of everything. And here we can adjust anything if needed. So right now my head is a little bit too low. So I want to just go over on top of this and we can just fix that. This is why we're using the color pencil. So a couple more, a couple other triangles for the ears. So, and we draw a circle for the snout. Then we want to draw two kind of rectangles for where his feet are going to be. This is the joint right there. So we're going to bring one down and repeat the process on the other side. So that'll be more or less its pause. So now that we have kind of our basic shapes, the next thing we want to do is we want to start blocking everything out a little bit more. So we have the general um, volumes of everything. And what we want to do is we want to start by refining. Um, the first thing that I'm going to refine is going to be the facial area. So our dog is kind of twisted a little bit, his head, and then we kind of have the um, eye line right about here. So these are called construction lines. And this is basically an indication of where or, or how the face splits up. So first we're going to start right over here. So this is the snout area. So right in the center of our circle kind of uh, rec um, circle oval, we want to draw in kind of like an upside down rounded triangle. This is going to be more or less where the nose lies. We just want to do a simple shape. We don't want to get too far into detail right now. That'll be for the very end when we're drawing everything in with pencil. Then we're going to repeat that process with the eyes. So our eyes are going to sit exactly where this line is right here. So that'll be the center of the eyes. We want to make sure that they are about an eye length apart. So we start just with a simple circle just to block out the general size and shape of it. So here's one, and then the other one will be around here. So I'm going to start basically by defining the volumes now. So right here, for example, you can see that this is very, very big, while on the picture it's a little bit flatter. This we basically want to go in and smooth any areas out. So we're smoothing out the top. We want to have the approximate size of the ears, so he has a little bit of hair sticking out right over here, which we want to add in. And we want to repeat that process around the ear length. So we have the ear coming out here and we have another ear poking out right here. So a little bit more hair. And these will basically add all the traits that the dog has in the actual picture. Repeat the process on the other side and draw it out down and following the general shape. So I'm really making sure that I'm looking back and forth between my drawing and my picture. I don't want to focus only on my picture or only on my drawing. I want to make sure that I'm looking between the two to make sure I get the most accurate portrayal possible. So I have a little bit of hair coming out here. Kind of like so. And then we want to follow on with the other side. So you can do this in pieces. You don't need to completely finish one area just in one sitting. You can move between one ear to the other ear just make sure you're refining everything and getting the general shape so here we have for example the ear shape so this is looking a lot more similar to the one that we have in the picture now i'm going to go in and i'm going to refine the red general facial shape so i'm going to go in here and i'm going to add kind of the little strands of hair that the dog has right here so these are just going to kind of bring that shape together and we're making sure to merge our two shapes together so we don't want to have a perfect circle going into the uh, other shape we want to see how it curves here together and follow that shape together like so 
It's not necessary to draw all the strands of hair, but I like to do it because it's a good indicator, more or less, of the volume. Then we want to follow the ear right here, so we have this ear leading downwards, a little bit out, and then this curves around towards the actual neck area. So this kind of shows the little framing that the dog has in its shape. A lot of dogs have that, kind of makes them look like a lion sometimes, like so. So this is how, kind of how we have the face carved out now. So now we're gonna go in and we're going to refine this general face a little bit. So I'm looking over here at my picture and I'm seeing my nose is a little too wide. So I'm gonna first start by just trimming it down a little bit, making sure that the shape and the volume is perfectly in, in uh, sync with the actual picture like this. And now we can go in and start refining things. So I'm going to first start just by carving out the actual shape of the snout. So the snout kind of follows in, as you can see, if we zoom in a little bit, it doesn't exactly meet the eye, but it still has a little bit of a dip in towards it. So we're going to add just that shape right there. And then we're going to curve up and over into the brow bone, just like so. Like that. So now we have a little bit more of that shape that the dog has. We're going to repeat that on the other side. So it narrows in near the bridge of the of the snout and then it pokes out just a little bit more. We want to bring now the middle of the nose, just bring it down ever so slightly and connect this with our actual uh, lines that we did before, so the rest of the snout, and this will make more of that same shape that the dog has in the picture. And we want to repeat that process right over here. So bringing it out, making sure that we get that same floppiness that he has in the actual picture. Now, if you ever want to go in and erase anything, you can feel free to erase any lines and just make sure you get those nice, clean, understanding lines. So the point of the drawing is you want to actually understand what you're doing, and then you can go in and refine so that everybody else also understands. So here we kind of have that general shape. We want to refine a little bit more, and then we kind of have the carving of the colors. So right here, we want to go in and add any extra details. Now we're gonna go in for the eye now. So our eye, we just kind of have a simple circle. And what I like to do is I like to take that circle and just refine it by starting out by just tracing that same shape at the top and bottom. We don't need to do that for the sides because we, as you can see, the shape changes a little bit. On the inner corner, we want to bring them down more or less aligned to the construction line that we made before and connect everything. So this is going to make kind of a thin poked out line at the very end. And our circle basically fits inside of there, just like that. And then on the other side, we basically are doing something very similar, except we're going to make it less, less pinched at the end. We want to make it a little bit rounder to keep that same gentle look that the dog has in his face, like so. And from there, we want to add the shine. We want to also add the circle for the pupil. Now, dogs tend to have really, really big pupils. It's kind of what makes them look cute a lot of the time. And we basically want to carve in that and any other details that the dog might have around their eyes. So here we have a little bit of a ridge and you can see usually have a little bit of hair kind of coming out down right here that we want to indicate that's there. Now we're going to repeat that process on the other side. So it's kind of hard to see on this side. We don't see a lot of detail, but it'll be more or less the same shape. So we want to follow by tracing that circle at the top and the bottom of the eye, bring it down to a pinch, similar in uh, more or less in line with the actual construction line that we did before. Like so, and creating that less tight corner at the very other side of the eye and we want to trace in that circle like so now we look at where the shine is so as you can see the shines are sitting on different places the shine here is sitting at the top left corner while this one is just sitting further down so what we're going to do is we're just going to draw in a little tiny circle and we're going to give that indication of the pupil anyways even though this isn't um that so this as you can see is going to be a painting eventually but you can also take this into a full rendered drawing so that means if you go in and actually shade it with a pencil then you would actually be coloring in this area completely black so you wouldn't have to have this indication now we're gonna go into the body. So we have more or less how this entire uh, face is working, so we don't really need to work too much more on this. We will go back here to the nose in a second, but we're gonna 
start um, adjusting this area right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to follow down the path right here. And we're gonna look at our picture really, really well, seeing how right here it curves and has a little kind of U shape. And we're going to repeat that process on the other side. So you can see that the hair is a little bit thinner in this area and that's what's creating that shape. So we're gonna go in with our pencil and making similar lines to how we did when we were drawing the general face shape, we want to create those same curves. Now you wanna make sure that you're really looking at your picture during these points because if not, you might get a very odd looking dog. So poking out right here and we're creating that same shape right over here. So we're, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a really smooth shorter line that's going to indicate the actual white volume of the dog. And just outside of that, I'm going to create just a couple little thin lines and this is going to create the little fuzzy part that's kind of coming out on, on him, like so. And then we want to draw in just the little brown patch that they have right there. So this is more or less one side of the dog. Now we want to do the same thing on the other side. So the other side is poking out a little bit and we had already gone in a little bit to uh, create that volume and we want to repeat that process kind of going in this way. So you can see there's a little bit of hair poking out here. And that's what we're going to indicate. Make sure that we have all of those little volumes that poke out. That's what really going to give a lot of character to our drawing, like so. And then the line of the couch, as you can see, rests just um, behind that. So we're gonna move our line down so it basically frames right about here. And here is where we're going to go in. And we're going to kind of indicate that this right here is a separate part. We can keep that, but I recommend that you draw it in. So as you can see, the leg is essentially bended. So if this was the actual picture or you you could actually see the rest of the dog, you would see that it kind of has a little divot that goes down and then that goes back up. That's why we want to indicate the difference so that way we don't get confused. So if we create that line right there and then we can draw out the rest of the leg like so. We want to also remember to keep those little uh, hairy bits, just kind of drawing those in with a couple of quick lines and repeating the shape on the other side. So we want to connect the two lines of our couch, make sure we have more or less an even line through the entire thing. Then we can just draw in the rest of the tummy area. So he has kind of like a little V-like shape uh, patch of hair right here. So that's the first thing that we're going to draw. I'm just going to draw in the similar strategy of how we were using before. You want to draw a couple little short lines kind of going in and out in the, that area. And then the rest of this is going to be indicated as hair. So we have a couple areas here and a couple areas here that we want to draw out, but the rest in theory should just be the continuing of the body. We want to connect that. And we want to make sure that we're really getting that shape. Repeating that process on the other side, we want to basically create a couple indications of the hair that's coming out down here. And then we want to create a couple indications of the hair that's poking out over here. Like so. If you want to, you can now go in and also add a couple other details right here in the tummy area or in the upper chest area where you can kind of see the different strands of hair that are poking out from all the sides. Like so. Now we're going to go in and we're going to start adjusting the feet or the paws. So the first one we're going to work on is the uh, paw right here. So we're going to start first of all, just in this top area right here. So this is the area that kind of flicks out and we want to just add that little patch of hair and make sure that we're not going all the way down. We're repeating that process on the other side, making sure we're getting that general curved shape that we have right here. Now we're going to separate and look at the feet. So we have one, two, three, four kind of little separations, his, basically his little toes. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to start first of all with the, uh, the one that's closest to the center of the picture. So we want to just carve out that shape. So this is going to be kind of like a little um, U shape. And we want to have a little circle at the very 
end of this and a little bit just kind of the, the indication of the nail. So that way we kind of know it's a, it's a dog toe, not just a random shape. Like so. Now this one right here is going to be a little bit trickier because we can't see as well. But you can get the general indication just knowing that this has about one, this is about the second one, and the third one is right there. So we're going to start just by carving out, starting around just around the middle of the shape that we just made, just a little bit beside the uh, indication of the nail. And we're going to carve that out as well. Bringing that one up more or less to around the same height of the line that we drew before. From here, we can indicate any bunches of fur that are poking over or anything of that sort. So now we can repeat that process on the other one. So we indicate the areas of the fur because they're more or less connected. We don't want to indicate super, super well where it is, but we want to just more or less see it. So this is more or less where we have the other toe. And then finally, we have just a little bit of a like nub poking out at the very edge being the final piece of his foot. So now we have kind of more or less the shape of the rest of the leg. And now we're going to move on to the other side. So we're going to move our picture. And here we see a lot better of an indication. We have one, two, three, four shapes right there. So we're starting again with the one that's closest to the center, making kind of a bit of the same U shape that we did before. And here we can edit again anything that needs to be added. We can add any little bits of hair, any little indications of nails or anything of that sort. Then the next one we're going to do is going to add the line here at the center. And this is going to create that same U shape that we had before. And this is going more or less into the center of the one that we just drew. Like so. And then we can add any sort of little details with the fur or anything of that sort. Finally, we're going to add the next one right here, right beside it. We're going to make sure that they are connecting, creating one more or less one even line. As you can see, they kind of create that right here. And then we add any sort of hair just to break it up. Finally, we add just the little toe that's poking out right here, like so. And now we have both feet of the dog. This is when we go in and we add anything. So right here, for example, we can make this a little bit a little bit more square so he doesn't look like he has kind of like jello feet. Erase that line. Like so. And now we're going to go in and we're going to adjust the nose. So this is kind of our last step. We're going to look at it really close. So the general shape that we have is more or less correct. Um, and what we want to do is we want to basically carve out the two nostril areas. So we have one and two circles basically right there. And this is what's going to give us that indication. Now, the nose isn't perfectly flat. It does bend backwards. So we would have technically almost like a little ridge area right here. So we wanna make sure not to add anything past this because this would just be um, basically getting rid of any sort of uh, three-dimensionalness on the nose. So I'm gonna get rid of those extra lines so that you can more clearly see where my nose is. Like so. And what I'm going to do is using those two circles that I drew, I want to get more or less the indication. Okay, so I'm going to follow this. This is more or less where the center of my nose would be. So I know that I need to move this circle over just a tiny bit, like so. And now I'm going to basically trace this shape and dip it down and create a little bit of a ridge at the end, which is going to connect to the back. And this is what's going to give us that nose-like shape repeat that process on the other side so we're going to have a slight gap between those two and then they follow down and we're going to poke the very bottom down just a little bit more like so and repeat that process on the other side like so so now we have our little dog nose just kind of carved out we have more or less everything that we want so the final step out of all of this is basically we can add in any details of the background. So for example, um, we have a little cushion kind of poking out here, which we're just going to very quickly just indicate with a sort of triangle. And we're going to just trace that triangle at the very top to get that ridge and we're going to pull it back. So it doesn't need to be perfect. Like so, and then we want to start about halfway through the dog where we see this kind of ridge from the couch. I'm gonna pull that back like that. So just this very simple line. You can indicate any sort of folds if you'd like. 
like so. So this is the immediate uh, foreground. So we have here a little bit more. We have a line just kind of coming out right here. So this is kind of a blanket. Uh, we don't need to draw in all the details unless you're doing a full drawing. If you are, then go ahead and draw in the rest of those details. And the rest of the background we can leave out for now. So this is more or less how we have the rest of the uh, drawing. So now we're going to switch to our pencil. And this is when we're going to go in and we're going to decide which lines we want to keep, which lines we want to get rid of. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to just draw in a little bit of hair right here. Make sure I have that nice line. And I'm going to just essentially clean up and trace my lines. step to all of this is going in with the eraser making sure you kind of clean up anything here's our final product so as you guys can see here we have the picture of the dog and here we have the drawing so here basically at the very last step all you can do is you can go in and if you want to fix any any little details that you kind of see then you can go in and adjust those. But other than that, then you can basically call your drawing done. Thank you very much. So I hope you guys are practicing lots at home. Remember, lots of drawing makes lots of good work. And then um, stay safe and make sure you guys are just washing your hands and staying clean.